if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen that, um, you know, there's been stuff going over the salt bin lathe, making some improvements with the large dials on that. Fixing up the, the little saw there and different things. Um, I kind of wanted to get a project that anybody can do and put together. So, um, I didn't have a tap follower, so I figured I'd just make a little project and, uh, and make one. So, if anybody doesn't know what a tap follower is, it's basically, um, if you were tapping, even on your, your lathe or drill press or whatever, um, it's kind of hard for you to get the whole tapped completely straight. So, what this is, is a little spring-loaded center point um, that it will allow you to use the center holes that are drilled in the ends of your taps to keep everything straight in line. Now, you, that's if you're using, you know, the open handled taps like this and you can get right into that center point. But some of your smaller, uh, smaller tap handles, if I can find one around here, um, even those have a point or somewhere to get in there. Now the problem arises with your actual tiny, tiny taps, um, like this one, what is this, this is a uh, 632. You can see the end is cone shaped because there's no way to get a center drilled uh, hole in there. That's a 60 degree cone on the end, so I wanted to incorporate both um, types of uh, centering on the tap follower. So here's the basic design that I came up with at first. So we have a knurled ring um, here that screws into a hollowed out body in a dumbbell ended um, uh, stud sticking out that will either accommodate your 60 degree point or your 60 degree comb. The only problem with that is when I did out the measurements um, to be able to do that I wanted to keep this whole body within uh, 3 inches or under just because of, um, you know, especially if you're on a lathe, you already have the, the drill chuck sticking out there. You don't want this huge hunk of metal sticking out farther than you need. Um, and a half inch uh, drill chuck, I believe, is about one inch of depth or so in that. Um, so to actually accommodate this with the measurements I wanted, I would have to make this whole thing like four or five inches, which just wasn't an option. So we kind of tossed that idea. But after f playing around, th here's what we've come up with, and uh, I have all the dimensions and everything on there. I'm going to take a still shot of this, too, and put it in the video so you guys can pause it, copy it, or do whatever you want to do with it. But basically, we're going to have a piece of half-inch cold-rolled steel. This is uh, 12 L14 because the machine's very nice. Um, and we're going to drill a hole down the middle of it for a um, 5 16 24 thread which ends up being a letter I drill bit. Now that's going to be our barrel travel. We're going to knurl the very end of it so we have a grip on the end. We're going to tap 3 eighths of an inch in. We're going to make a cone on it that this whole PC is going to be one inch long with our 3 eighths thread here or 3 eighths length of thread 5 16 24 thread we're going to knurl the end here so we have something to hold to be able to tighten it. And we're going to put a taper on it. Now, that doesn't have to be anything specific. It's just whatever preference you want. You can do 60 degree, 50 degree, 30 degree. You don't even have to put one on there if you don't want to. But And then in the middle of this, we're going to drill a 3 16 inch um, hole. And that is going to be for our rod that comes out. Now, the rods themselves are pretty much going to look like this and our length and everything is going to be determined by this hole. Now I have preliminary measurements and everything else. I want a quarter inch of meat on the end and I want actually from here to the end. In other words this side here is going to sit right at the end of the threads and that's going to be the end of my travel for my spike. I want roughly from here to here to be inch and three eighths. Now it's going to vary because you're not going to be able to drill perfectly, and you would just have to do the rod to match. But basically, I I want an inch of um, travel in that entire spike. So we have an eighth inch little disc that's going to be machined off the end. This is going to be made out of um, three eighths inch 
um, water hardening drill rod that we are going to harden, so we're going to go over some hardening. Um, I'd use 3 8 because that's what I had. If you, Obviously, if you have 5 16 or something smaller like that, by all means use that, but it just happens to be 3 8 for me. And we're going to turn this collar down to be able to have a slotting fit in here. Now, the letter I drill bit size is 272 thousandths, so about 270 thousandths, so it should give us a pretty good slide back and forth. Now, inside there, there's going to be a spring, and that spring is going to be pushing on the end of this plate, which is going to give us our um, spring action and travel. Now, I'm going to have to make two rods, one with a 60 degree cone and one with a 60 degree point and uh, they're both going to be the same length like I said I'm gonna do a nice um, still picture of this I'll probably put it at the end of the video or I'll find some place to put it in here I mean, you can pause it you can look at the dimensions and get it but like I said um, especially this dimension here is all dependent on what you end up getting out of the uh, this drilled surface here so we'll go over that um, as we go Uh, by the way, I'm going to do all this operation with a uh, collet setup because we're using half inch and under sizes, so the collet's really convenient for this uh, this job here. So the body is going to be made out of uh, 12L14. The pin itself <clears throat> is going to be made from um, 3 8 air hardening drill rod, and uh, we are going to harden it so uh, that it doesn't wear out. So let me. Uh, this has already been faced, so let me. Center drill, and uh, this is going to be a 5 16 24 thread on the barrel, um, and that requires a eye. Let me double check my little chart 5 16 24 in eye drill bit for the tap. So, center drill first. Now we want that, I say, how deep? Inch and a quarter deep. So I'm going to be using the uh, graduations on my barrel. That's what I'm just getting lined up right now. We'll start at the quarter inch mark. So I need to go into an inch and a half on the barrel. Okay, I got my tap set up in here, and we want to tap 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to be using the tailstock as my guide for that 3 eighths of an inch. This is what that um, tap guide that we're making would be used for in place of this. But, we'll just get it started. Now this tap wrench is too big to be able to 
swing through the ways. So um, I'm just going to turn it by the pulley here. And then slowly feed in with my hand wheel and the tap should tap itself right in. And there's my three-eighths of an inch. It's actually a little bit more. It's because the end of this has a little bit of a taper, so. And there you go. You got our threads in there. I'm gonna uh, pull this out and we'll pot it off at two inches. Let's see if I get you a nice overhead shot. That's good right there. Knock the carriage down. And away we go. Put this other half in and uh, we'll face off that end and chamfer the edges. And there we go. Pretty much our completed barrel. And our uh, little plunger and everything will go right down in there. Alright, we want to get ready for uh, the piece that we're going to put our taper on. Um, so I have this faced off and center drilled. We're going to put a 3 16 hole through the middle. We want at least an inch through. Um, to go all the way the length that we need. So I'm going to do it an inch and a half just to be safe.
want to put the hole in first because that's going to govern uh, how much of a taper we're going to put on the end of this. Get this out of the way. And uh, let me move you around to a better position and we'll cut the taper on that. Alright, we have our hole drilled now. We got a thread um, 3 eighths of an inch in. So I'm going to mark that out with my pot off tool. That's it right there. Now I have to bring that diameter down to uh, 5 sixteenths for my thread, which is... Three hundred and twelve and a half thousandths. So. That should be dead on. There you go. One ten thousandth off? I'll take that. Alright, I'm just going to square up that edge with the potting tool real quick, give it a thread relief, and then I'm going to have to face this end to get this completely down to three eighths. Off a of hair, but it shouldn't really matter. We can make it up in our thread. So, champ for the ends. 
Nice and tight, right butt up against that. All right, um, let me pull this out more and get set up to. Uh, I'm gonna probably pot this off, um, put it in with this, put it on the other side, and we'll be able to do the. Uh, the angle and uh, the neural all in one setup. All right, we're set to uh, pot off a one inch long piece here, so with our threads. So there's our nose piece. A little bit of flashing on there, but we'll get that off. So now, you want to put our angle and everything on there. So we're going to take this piece out. Okay, so this is our threaded barrel. I'm going to put that in. And we're going to screw the piece we just cut in on it. Now, you want to cut it. First, let me get that little piece of flashing off, so let me uh, just give it a super quick fade. Here's our barrel that we just made uh, earlier, and here's the piece we just cut off. So screw them together, and I'm going to put them right in here. I'm going to put that split line below the collet, just below the collet. Putting them together what gives me something big to hold and putting it just below that split line uh, gives it a spot so that this won't spin and tighten and jam itself on there. Tighten your collets down really good and uh, 
give a quick face and get that flashing off there. to put uh, just a, an angle on that point, dress it up a little bit, so turn our compound, I'll take a bit out of here. You can pick whatever angle you want, I think, go with, we'll put the compound on 70 degrees, should give me a nice point. Now you don't want to go all the way down, you want to leave a little bit of meat on the hole that you drilled. So you have basically a flat spot on the front. And get our cutting bit, which is going to be this one. angle that we want. Tighten everything down. And go to town. This will probably be my finishing cut. Actually, we can go a little bit more. Take another five. A taper on the front. So now, take this out, that out there somewhere, tighten it back down. Now I'll just run a knurl from here to here, give you a grip to be able to break that easily.
Alright, this center isn't really in there in there, it's just preventing it from completely tweaking itself sideways as I push in. And we're just going to run a light knurl, just enough to, to uh, give you a little bit of grip on your fingers. Helps if I put the back gear back in. So, this right here, it's a finished barrel. You easily grab it from the two knurls here and break it right apart. Now we got to work on our um, rod itself. So I got to change out to a uh, 3 8 collet because that's the size drill rod that I have. 